Okay, let's get cracking. In the intro, I played a slightly different version to Keith Richards, but I'll explain why, what I did a bit later. So what we're gonna teach you now is the first part of the first verse. So we've already done the intro. Like that. Now those first two form either the first part of the verse or the end of the intro. And all this is, is the open D and open G strings hit twice. Like that, okay? So with the intro, which I've shown you already, That's your first little lead lick. So after you've played the open D and open G twice with the fingers like that, uh, you can use a plectrum if you want, but it sounds a little bit better uh, using your fingers, which is the way I like to do it. Or you can have a plectrum sort of resting in there or in there. But um, all we're doing today is showing you how to play it. So we're going. Like that. Now that's the first bit I did slightly different from the record. We're actually going to, uh, after we played the, that's your first bit. So we're going to open A, and we're going to slide from the second fret of that A string to the fourth fret of the A string. Although it's the G note, because we've opened G tuning, I'm still going to refer to it as the A string. So we have, like that. Now when I played the intro, when I played uh, at the bit at the beginning, I went to the D string. I think Keith Richard goes. But I like the sound of the D more, so it's up to you. So this is the beauty of rock guitar playing. So we've got the open A, we're going to slide from the second fret A string to the fourth fret. And then you're going to hit that G string or the D string. Or you can hit both like that. That is why it is great to be able to put your own spin on it. So we're going. And that is the C chord, and we're just barring the fifth fret. I'm going to refer to the chords as position one and position two. And position one is a straight bar. And I will just tell you what fret to put them over. Okay? So we have so far as. Being careful or making sure that uh, you have a nice ringing sound there. I tend to use the A string as my root, my first one I hit. But nice, you have a nice full chord because that is in fact a C chord all the way through. So, okay, so we're hitting that. Then we're going to actually go to the next chord and we go. Now this is position two here, which I've shown you the basic chords. And, and all we're doing is having the bar there and we're just having a shape like that. We're just adding on one fret above on the B string and two frets above on the D string. Like that, okay? So we have. And we're turning again to that G. Or you can play the. Or you can hit both strings together. Okay, have you got that? Okay, that's the beginning bit there. So, nice and nice easy, just so you, uh, for your reference. That is an F chord, and we do not want to play the top E string in this instance, or it sounds horrible. So it's tending just to play the D, G, and B strings. Okay, next one, we've got a lovely little riff now. Brilliant, isn't it? Sorry, it's very hot in here, I'm sweating a bit. So what we're doing here, G string, E string. So we're gonna put our finger on the fifth fret of the E string, although it's a D note, um, a D, we're still going to call it the E string. And we're gonna slide from the fifth fret to the third fret. Like that. Okay, so that's the first bit. And then we're gonna play open. So we're going, keeping that G string played the whole time. Together. Okay, so that's what we have so far is. Then 
the last bit of the riff is really cool. I love this bit. Okay, so we've slid down to that open. Then we're going to put our finger on the second fret of the G string and bend it up two steps. So we hit the G, uh, the B note, like that. So it's okay. So all the time using the two strings in unison, the G and the E in unison. And we're going to carry on that little riff. Okay, so we're now on the open G and the open E. Then we're going to go down to the E note, which is the second fret of the D string. Like that. And then we're going to hit the G and E again together, open. Okay, so what we have so far is. All right, okay. Next, we have a little interlink, interlink here. And this interlink is like. And that is, we're going from A to D. We're going to use position one there on the second fret and then position two on the second fret. Like that. So we have. Then the next chord is back up. Cool, oh dear, it is warm in here. Then going up to the seventh fret. So we're going all the way up to the, that's a D chord and playing D to G. Position one to position two. Okay, so we have this so far. And the final riff is, which is my favorite riff in the whole song. So we're having an open A. We're going to uh, slide up to the fourth fret of that A string and then play an open D. So it's. Then we're going to go to the second fret of the B A string and just bend it slightly and then play an open A. Really nice. If you use your nail, have a really nice sound. So quickly, what we have is before I explode. And that is the very first part of the first, or the verse, you call it one verse, or that is the end of the first verse. So, Go to the next bit and we'll complete the rest of the verse. <laughs> 